The USS Keeling, the destroyer that Cruz oversaw, was dubbed Greyhound. A newly promoted officer, Hanks, is tasked with guiding the first transatlantic convoy over a section of water known as the Black Hole in the movie, which is set in the winter of 1942. Cruz has to defend his fleet from German submarines over the course of five days without air cover. The Battle of the Atlantic, which started in September 1939 and didn't end until the Germans' capitulation on May 8, 1945, is when Greyhound takes place. Since the United Kingdom is an island nation, a country whose territory consists of one or more islands, Blazik explains that the conflict was primarily about supplies, the majority of which came from the United States. Food, gasoline, and other necessities arrived through the seaports of the Arctic Ocean to the Soviet Union which was under siege from the Nazi Operation Barbarossa, the Axis invasion of the Soviet Union during World War II. German submarines attacked cargo ships, and destroyers race after them to defend the fleet, dropping bombs on the submarine until it explodes. A cargo ship was destroyed by the submarine. The captain gives the order to maneuver in order to evade the torpedo and looks for hostile submarines. After blowing up some of the cargo ships, three submarines rose above the water and began attacking the ships once more. Submarines' whereabouts are found using sonar. So, she moves to attack the target. The Greyhound shoots her severely when they finally locate her. Up until nightfall, there was fighting. While attacking the German submarine, the destroyer came dangerously close to colliding with a large freighter. In order to avoid hitting the ship, the captain issued a ceasefire order. The ship was rammed by the destroyer without any harm being done. The information transmission officer was initially unable to obey directions because he was so terrified. As submarines continued to destroy cargo ships and attack ships, the Greyhound engaged the submarine in combat. But she found herself in the way of Zeke and the destroyer Greyhound. In order to avoid hitting the destroyer Zeke, the captain ordered a ceasefire. But one of the destroyer Greyhound's crew members was hurt by friendly fire. The destroyer Greyhound's crew spotted survivors from the cargo ship that the submarine had blown up in the ocean. They put saving the surviving first. In order to fool the sonar about its presence, the German submarine dropped a sound bomb into the ocean. When the sonar operator found the sound, the destroyer fired bombs in its direction. Once the sound source was no longer audible, the sonar officer realized it was a stun grenade. To attack two cargo ships, she aimed the submarine at the ships sailing away from the destroyer. Over the radio, the submarine was communicating with the destroyer's crew in an effort to weaken their resolve. They hear him say, we'll kill you one by one. The submarines, which float in the waves to attack other ships, can be found thanks to sonar. The German submarine sank numerous cargo ships, and the destroyer chased and attacked them with a passion. Submarines strike ships every second. A submarine is surrounding the Greyhound. The torpedo is aimed at her. However, the destroyer commander expertly intervenes when torpedoes are about to be fired at it. And he quickly takes care of her. A destroyer named Zeke joins the battle to track down the German submarine. It fired its anti-submarine weapons. The submarine goes to the top to engage the cruiser close up. Because the cannon's deflection angle is only effective against far off targets, they are fighting so closely together that even the cannons are unable to hit the submarine. The destroyer Zeke is hot on the heels of the German submarine. To Zeke's assistance, the Greyhound destroyer turns. She cannot however shoot her. Since the destroyer Zeke and the submarine were in the same direction. Zeke was in the line of fire. So the commander of the destroyer Greyhound waited for him to move out of it before opening fire on the submarine. For the close distance between the destroyer and the submarine, the two fought each other with heavy machine guns. The submarine then opened fire on the Greyhound, killing three of its crew members. Greyhound fired at the submarine, striking it after Zeke moved out of the way. To put out the fire on the destroyer, the Greyhound crew gathered together. Following that, Memorial services were held for those who died as a result of the destroyer being bombed. Another submarine was nearby, a crew member alerted before the burial ceremony was over. Submarines destroyed another freighter. The commander of the Greyhound destroyer asked the communications officer to send a message to the air command to send air cover to help them repel the submarine attacks. 
Submarines did not stop their attacks on ships. The destroyer ships continued to track and target them. But things got more complicated for the captain of the destroyer Greyhound. This time the submarine fired a torpedo at the destroyer. On the other hand, a second submarine fired the torpedo at the destroyer. Now, the captain of the ship has to deal with torpedoes from different directions. This requires high precision steering expertise. The commander dealt with the situation very calmly and quickly. The second torpedo was about to explode. However, it struck the side of the destroyer at an oblique angle and did not explode. After dealing with the torpedoes, he ordered the ship's commander to head for the submarine and violently attack it. The submarine fired another torpedo, but to no avail. After an intense bombardment by the destroyer towards the submarine, it hit the submarine. She was forced to turn upwards, making an easy target for the destroyer. The warship now has the chance to detonate the submarine and sink it. The destroyer succeeded in destroying and sinking the submarine. Only one German submarine remained. The Air Force answered the call. A plane flies over the fleet to assist the destroyer in eliminating the remaining submarine. Greyhound attacked the submarine to direct the plane at it. The plane attacked it and succeeded in destroying it and sinking it into the ocean. The destroyer crew celebrated victory. In the fight against submarine attacks, the fighting continued without interruption for five days. The destroyer commander stood for so long that his legs began to bleed from standing for so long. The assistant officer was given command of the destroyer. He received a standing ovation from the cargo ships for saving them from German submarine attacks. Then after an epic battle that was written down in history, the captain went to sleep. The remaining cargo ships completed their voyage to safety thanks to the heroic marines who protected them.